Hey everyone, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's guys tough from title and bring you all another concert vlog. This is my second to last show in Chicago for this year. A little, little sad. Um, today is December 6th. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to see With Confidence tonight on their tour. I think this is their tour for their um, second debut album that came out, which I'm blanking on what it's called. It has like pink flowers on it or something. I don't know. But um, I'm really excited for the show. It's a pretty good lineup. It's With Confidence, Broadside, Sleep On It, and Small Talks. So it should be really fun. Um, I'm a Pretty big fan of With Confidence. It's funny too because I was actually just like re-watching some Vlogmas from last year just for fun. And during that time last year is when I really got into With Confidence. I was obsessed with Better Weather last December. That was like my jam of December. So I really got into them. I saw them a little bit at Warp Tour this summer. Um, I only saw like three or four songs. I missed some of their set. Um, so I really, I've seen them live, but like not a lot. So this is my first time seeing them at their own show in like an intimate venue that's not a festival. So it should be really fun. That's one of the big reasons I wanted to see them because I am a pretty big fan. I like a lot of songs from their new album and they are playing some oldies too. So it should be fun. Um, I love Sleep On It. I saw them back in September here when they opened for State Champs, actually in the exact same venue. I'm going back to the Bottom Lounge. Haven't been there since State Champs. I've only been there once. I'm going back to the Bottom Lounge, which would be really fun. And um, yeah, so that's the last time I saw them. They were great. I really got into them. I'm actually really excited to see them again because they're really fun. And then Broadside, I've been like, I'm a casual fan of them. They're really good. I've heard they're great live. I haven't been able to see them before, so I'm excited to see them for the first time. Small Talks are a little female-fronted band. Their music is super chill and relaxed. So I'm excited to see them as well. So I think overall it should be just a lot of fun bands and a really great show And um, I'm going to another show tomorrow night on Friday I'm going to see Trophy Eyes tomorrow night at the exact same venue with the same friend Claudia and I are going So Claudia and I are gonna be living at the bottom lounge for the next two nights, which is pretty lit I'm so excited for tomorrow. Oh my god tomorrow's lineup is amazing But I'm gonna save that for the next vlog, but just get excited for that show as well So it is two nights of shows. Oh my god. I should make this like I'm not doing vlogmas this year But what if I made it like concert miss you know what I mean <laughs> could you imagine that like I was actually thinking about that this morning could you imagine going to a concert like every day for 25 days I think I would like die inside I mean my wallet would be crying but I feel like physically I would be dead like we've already been talking about the fact that like we're probably gonna be dead this weekend from going to shows like two nights in a row and I honestly I could have gone to the shows three nights in a row actually okay I could have gone to shows four nights in a row this is insane I didn't obviously but last night Belmont tweeted and they were like hey we're doing a really small house show in Chicago DM us for the address and I was like bitch you tell me now but I mean a I was working so I didn't go and B I was not about to go to like shows three nights in a row and then this saturday free throw we're going to be at subterranean which is a venue i really want to go to and i love free throw but my finals are next week and i have a final on monday so i'm being a responsible adult and saying no self you cannot do three shows in a row and you need to be studying for finals you cannot be dead so also i'm like recovering from a sickness too like you can hear it i'm stuffy so like i feel like three shows in a row after being sick is just like probably not the best idea so I need to just, you know, take it easy, and I think two shows in a row is gonna be a lot in general for me. Especially because these are, like, two really hype shows. Like, tonight's show will be fun. It'll be, like, you know, chill, and, like, I'll da dance around, I'll bop. I don't know if there's gonna be moshing, but I've crowd surfed with comments before, and that was fun. But, like, tomorrow, I'm going so hard to Trophy Eyes. I've missed them, so that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, so today will be super fun. Um, this week has been... I feel like the lighting is actually horrible. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, the sun. Um, this week has been actual hell. It's the week before finals. Finals are next week, but this week has been literal death because I had just all these final projects and essays due, and I'm just so done. And, like, I was telling myself all week, I was like, I just have to make it to Thursday. Thursday is when I'm free, and the day is finally here, and I cannot be more thankful. I had a huge 10-page research paper that was due today. I had just, like, all this stuff to do over the weekend. I literally had, like, a mental breakdown this past weekend because I was just doing so much work. <laughs> So you know what? I deserve two shows in a row. I deserve it because I made it through this week and the girl that I'm going with, she had another big essay that's due on Friday and she finished it today and she was like, you know what? This is our little hurrah. It's a congratulations that like, hey, we made it through this week and it's like a, you know what? A big stress relief before finals next week because that's going to kill me. I only have two, but it's still going to be a lot. So... I'm ready. I've made it here. I'm so close. I can just taste winter break. It's so close, guys. I, I can feel it. And I'm going home in 11 days. I'm so excited. I've missed it, which is weird, but, like, I miss Albany. I really miss my family. So, like, 
I'm just, I'm really close. And this is gonna be my last two shows, you know, in Chicago. So it'll be really fun. But tonight's my second to last show. And yeah, I'm really excited. Um, it's 11 o'clock right now. I just had my first class. Well, I had it, it ended like an hour ago, but my last 8.30 class of the semester. Thank God I don't have any next semester. So we just be chilling. I have another class from 2.30 to 3.45, my last lit class. And then I'm done for the day and we're gonna meet around like four-ish and we're just gonna go to the dining hall, get some food, and then we're going to get on the CTA, get on the L and go to the venue. The doors open at five and the show starts at six. So it's about an hour away, which is kind of annoying. It's like pretty far. We have to go red line to green line and all that shiz. So it's kind of far away. Um, So, I mean, I'm assuming we're gonna get there by like 5.30, you know, and that's fine. Like first band goes on at six. And if I miss a little bit of small talks, it's okay, but I really don't think that's gonna happen. It's such a cute venue. It's super small. I really like the room at the bottom lounge, so I'm excited. I've missed that venue. It's fun. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated throughout the day, but um, right now I'm just kind of chilling. I have to have everything packed. I'm not used to like having a show on a Thursday. Normally on Fridays I have shows, which is when I'm just done with classes at one and I have kind of like the whole day to plan everything out, but I have to like, after lunch probably I'm going to like put on all, all my makeup and like get my fanny pack out and like have everything planned so that right after my last class I can just run up here put my backpack down grab my fanny pack and go I'm like not totally used to vlogging around here yet um you know at my high school I got used to it but here not so much also look at our lights oh so festive <laughs> we're so festive here I'm oh I'm so excited also this is what I'm wearing my follow-up boy shirt I never wear this shirt anymore I don't really like it I I really want to like revamp my entire wardrobe low-key because there's just like a lot of shirts I don't like and I just I'm over it and then I was like looking at the Urban Outfitters website yesterday because I was like I kind of want to like you know buy some stuff because we don't have an Urban Outfitters in Albany um a sweater was freaking seventy dollars <laughs> I'm like Lord, like no. You know how many Christmas gifts I've been buying recently? I just, I love my family, okay? And I've just been spending a lot of money on them, which is like fine, because I love them and I love giving gifts. But I'm like, I need to be working a lot because like I want some clothes for myself. I just need more sweaters. Like I'm not used to the Chicago cold. Like yes, it's cold in New York, but like the wind here, that's a different story. Like she's powerful. She's blowing me over on campus and I'm not used to it. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I am rambling at this point. You guys probably don't care. You're probably like, hey, we're here for the concert vlog, not your life update. But I'm sorry I'm giving it to you. I kind of missed vlogging. I, I wasn't going to do Vlogmas this year, and I'm obviously not just because, like, I'm busy in college. I got a lot going on. And it's not the same as when I was doing last year when I'm, like, in high school where, like, everyone knows me, knows that I vlogs. Like, it's normal to be in school rocking around with a camera. Here, not so much. Also, like, it's just... I'm not, I don't go home at the end of the day, so it's just like weird to be vlogging in college. Like, hey, here doing homework, two hours later. Here doing homework, like it's not, it would not be good content, is my point. Um, so that's why I'm not doing Vlogmas this year, but I plan on having a lot of really fun like videos up for you guys, a lot of cool end of the year videos like I normally do, and I have plans to film a lot over break too, because I'm gonna have nothing to do for a whole month. So, still good videos to come. Maybe I'll do some fun vlogs over the holidays, like with my friends and stuff, because you know, y'all miss Vama and Haley and all that jazz, and they miss you guys. I don't know if they do. Maybe they don't miss a camera being on them all the time. They probably don't. But yeah, that's, that's the tea. So I'm gonna go and just chill and like get stuff ready. Like probably put makeup on my face, eat some lunch, get my fanny pack ready, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, the lighting everywhere sucks. Oh, maybe you're, oh, hello. Okay, guys, so I am all ready to go. As you can see, I have my makeup all done. It's like 1.40 right now. And I have class at 2.30. Oh my God, the lighting, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have class at 2.30, um, and I just really don't want to go. Like, I'm all ready to go. I'm in the hype mode. I just listened to some tunes, and, like, I'm ready to go. Also, um, I just bought another concert ticket. Love that for me. I am <laughs> slowly dwindling and running out of money. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. But, like, I've been spending a lot of money lately because, like, Christmas gifts and now, like, concert for me, and it's just, like, I'm getting a fat paycheck next week and like, I just need it to come sooner because, <laughs> you know, your girl is spending. And I know I'm gonna spend more next week because final stress means I need food and coffee and other things. Like, I kinda wanna go clothes shopping next week, so we'll see. 
um, but I bought tickets to a tour that was just announced today. I think it was announced today. I saw it for the first time today. And it's Matt Karakis, which I feel like I'm not saying that right. Karakis? Karakis? I don't know. I'm sorry. But it's the lead singer of Citizen, if you didn't know. His solo stuff is amazing. I have been listening to his solo stuff for like two years now. And um, I've always wanted to see like just him live. I saw Citizen a few weeks ago, like you guys know, and they were fantastic. But I would love to see his solo stuff live. And he just announced a tour with Jetty Bones and some other dude who I don't know. But I love Jetty Bones so much. I've been wanting to see her live again so badly. So, oh my god, a tour with both of them? I'm gonna die. So that tour just got announced today. The last date of the tour is the Chicago date. It's March 29th and it's a Friday. So I was like, bitch, I'm gonna go. The tickets were freaking $14. So I am there. So just bought tickets to that. I'm hype. <laughs> so another show to look forward to for next year which is amazing, um, but yeah, we just love continuously opening up the wallet to spend money. Also, I just realized I have like no cash in my wallet and like I don't have enough time like after class to go and get some um, and coat check is $3. I know I'm gonna want water, but I think the water there's only like $2 and I have $9 in my wallet. So I'm gonna have to get some cash definitely before the show tomorrow, um, but today I think I'll be okay, but I just like I don't know, I'm on edge not having cash. I spent it all on the merch last time at the other show, the Real Friends show, so. And I'm not gonna get any merch tonight, cause like, I can't, I can't. Maybe tomorrow, if Trophy Eyes has cute merch, I really might cop some, but I don't, really don't want any like WithCon merch or anything, so probably no merch tonight. Um, but I'll show you my outfit now. Oh my God, this lighting, there's no good lighting in this room. It's like only here. Okay, actually, okay, okay. Oh, look at our lights and our little garland, so cute. Um, I'm wearing my Fall Out Boy shirt like I showed you, this flannel, which, I might actually just keep on and then wrap it around my waist because I did that at the state champ show and like it kind of fell off but it was fine I don't know I just it's like so cold it's sunny outside but like I don't know I don't know maybe I'll take it off I don't know this isn't like a show where I'm gonna go super hype like tomorrow I'll probably just wear a t-shirt but like I could wear this to the show and I'll be fine I don't know this is like a more chill show like it's with confidence like it's not gonna get that crazy so I might just keep this on and then I'm wearing my black skinny jeans as usual and I think I'm gonna wear these crusty boots which I wore to real friends and like they did not hurt my feet like I thought they would and they're kind of like really good for concerts because they're already just like disgusting like there's paint on it it's disgusting it's a mess I think I'm gonna wear those and yeah I'm also trying to figure out like what shoes I should bring home when I go home and like it's so hard because like I have so many good shoes I'll be working at journeys again when I'm home and I'm like what shoes do I bring what babies are worthy enough like my newbies I don't know but like I love them you know what I mean I don't know um, but yes, that's my outfit, and I just, like, really, like, don't want to go to class. <laughs> and it's, but it's, like, I honestly, like, would skip, but, like, it's my last class for this class, you know? And, like, the finals next week, she's gonna discuss the final, so, like, I don't want to be rude like that. And I really do enjoy the class. It's just, like, it's long. Sometimes it just drags on. That's the only thing. It's an hour and 45 minutes. No, it's not. It's an hour and 15 minutes. And just, that's, like, a little... Little long. You literally have a three hour class on Monday night self. Why are you complaining? <laughs> Especially when I have to like run back here afterwards to like grab my stuff and go eat before the show. So I don't know. Just not really feeling that class right now. And I also still have like 50 minutes until it happens and I'm like already ready to go and I'm like what am I to do? Maybe I'll study for some finals and be productive. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. So yeah, I'll probably see you guys like after class when I'm with Claudia. Hydrate or dehydrate folks. We're fueling <laughs> up. We're ready. <laughs> this, look at the size of this ship. This is some 4th of July realness right here. I don't know who she is, but she's killing the game. She's very salty and I'm here for it. <laughs> So who are we most hyped to see? <gasps> Broadside and then with confidence. Accurate, accurate, accurate. <laughs> I miss this place, guys. I haven't been here in so long, so I'm really excited. <laughs> like, last time I came was like a fucking like rave night, and that was kind of weird. But last time I came was my first show in Chicago, so it's special. I, you know, it'll be it'll be lit. It'll be lit. We saw people from with Con, and I shit myself. Yeah. Too. Also, why do they make an Indigo like carry the merch? I know. <laughs> he's hauling it like he's, he's selling he's, it. Yeah. He's, he's doing he's, his work. He's working out here. Yeah. yeah. We love the working boys. <laughs>
have some fun. Sleep on it. What a night. What a night. <laughs> I'm gonna have no voice tomorrow, as you can already hear. Can and we just talk about um, Ollie Baxter's vocals? <gasps> His riffs. <laughs> we were shook. I, I was so shook. I was, oh I, my I god. I do not remember him doing that, so I like shit myself. I like, just repeatedly. wasn't like I knew he had a good voice, but like I I was just, sometimes you like can't tell if it's real. I guess on like recordings, I didn't know if it was real, but bitch, it's real. <laughs> it is real. It's so real. It's oh so my goodness, real. he was amazing. Yeah. I. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna have no voice tomorrow. And this was just the start. Like, this was just night one. Night one. Night one. Night one. Hey, Matt, see, you night one. Yeah, see you tomorrow. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Ooh, back and tomorrow's just gonna be like more intense. This was like a, Dude, a practice round. Sound really <laughs> she's beauty, she is great. She's, she's pink line. I can't rhyme, but there she is. I've never she's taken beauty, the pink line. This is amazing. You better come all the way over here. Oh, oh shit, oh, we're gonna shit. have to run now. <laughs> Girl, wait. Hello folks. So it is the next day, and as usual, I thought I would just give you guys a little recap from the show. And I almost didn't even go to this tour, but I'm really happy that I did because it was super fun. All the bands put on great shows. Um, Small Talks was fantastic. They had so much energy. They were like really amping up the crowd early on, which I loved. Um, sleep on it, freaking great. They always put on such a good show. Like I knew seeing them again was gonna be so much fun and they're great. Broadside was probably like my least favorite band that I saw. Just cause, I don't know. I mean, they sounded great. Ollie's voice is incredible live and they were really fun. I just think like in terms of their music, I probably like their music the least. They have some really good songs and I'm definitely gonna like continue to listen to them a little bit. Um, they didn't blow me away live, but they were pretty fun. And then With Confidence, honestly, kind of surprised me a little bit live. Like when I saw them at Warp Tour, it just wasn't the same experience. And they're just so great in like their own show, their own little intimate venue, you know. Oh my god, fantastic. They played really good mix of old and new, I think. I got to hear some bops from Better Weather. I just wish they played We'll Be Okay. It's the only song. If they'd added that to the set list, it would've been perfect. But they played all the great bops, their new album, some old stuff. They played Godzilla, they played, um... Oh, something off the B-side. Here for nothing? I think that's what it's called? I don't know. Uh, but they played like a B-side song. They played an old song from Rainy EP. So they were great. A lot of energy. And they're from Australia. And they were just saying how thankful they are. They never thought they'd be able to play in Chicago. And there was a moment when Jaden was talking to whoever like their new guitarist is that's like there for, you know, when Luke left. Um, whoever that is, he was talking to him, and he was like, so what do you think of Chicago? And they were just talking about how much they love it, and Jaden was like, honestly, I, I love this city. He's like, this is the most beautiful city in America. I would move here in two seconds. And I was like, yes, boo. I was like screaming. I was like, yes, yes, you would. It's a beautiful city. And then he was like, he said something that I always say. Whenever people are like, oh, you wanted to live in a city for college, you know, why don't you go to New York City? It's a lot closer. He said what I say to everybody. And he was like, it's like the cleaner, nicer version of New York City. And I was like, yes, yes, that's what I always say. Like the cooler version of New York City. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really happy he said that because like, it's true. It really is like, fight me on it. And New Yorkers, New York City peeps fight me. Like it's... This is where it's at. And do it. Um, it was a really fun show. I, oh my god, I almost got a set list at the end. I like ran up to try to see. They were throwing like a lot of picks, a lot of set lists. And they had like 
I think they threw like eight set lists and literally it touched my hand I didn't fully like grasp onto it, but it, like touched my hand I almost got it then this other girl grabbed it and I was like no bitch So yeah, I touched me but I didn't grab it so but like Claudia and I were like looking for picks afterwards um, And we just couldn't find any everyone got them, but then we got a chance to meet sleep on it Which was really really fun. Oh, and also we took this picture by the barricade um this picture right here and then um afterwards the security guards we didn't really realize they were like behind us and they were like oh no go to like one of the photos and i was like okay and i was like no no they were like no 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 go to like an early one <laughs> and they had photo bombed it i'll show that one <laughs> and it's really really funny <laughs> so yeah gotta love some fun security guards they did a good job i crowd surfed only once just to voldemort at the end because i just wanted to go up once i kind of wish i crowd surfed during sleep on it um but i just i was busy jumping around the pit was pretty fun um a little weird i don't know but it was it was fun overall um it was it was a pretty good mix and crowd surfing was like fine i mean i got caught really well and it was it was all good so um but yes like i said afterwards we got to meet sleep on it which was really really fun um they are so sweet i went up to them and i was just like hey i saw you guys and you guys were here in september when you opened for state champs and you guys did a really really great job and they were just really appreciative they're like oh thank you so much so that was really nice of them they were just super appreciative and then we took our photo together and it was really cute um and then yeah we left and we headed back and we made pretty good time i like that the show starts at six that's just like such a reasonable time because then we were out of there by like 9 30 you know so it was really nice but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this concert vlog let me know if you guys have gone to any of the dates on the tour and tell me like who your favorite band was that you saw and what your experience was like because i love to hear about it and other than that thank you all so so much for watching be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys liked it and other than that i will see you all next time bye